The Book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah, Chapter 9. Now in the twenty and fourth day of the month, the children of Yasharal were assembled with fasting and with sackcloth and earth upon them, and the seed of Yasharal separated themselves from all strangers and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read the sefer of the Torah of Yahuwah, Elohim, one fourth a part of the day, and another fourth part they confessed and worshipped Yahuwah, Elohim. Then stood upon the stairs of the Levi'im, the Ye- Yeshua, Bani, Kadmael, Shevanyahu, Buni, Sherevayah, Banai, and Shanai, and cried with a loud voice unto Al Yahuwah, Alahayim. Then the Levaim, Yeshua, Kadmael, Bani, Shana Shevenya, Shereveya, Hodiya, Shevenyahu, and Peth Akya said, Stand up and bless Yahweh, Allahayim, forever and ever, and bless be your glorious name which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You, even you, are Yahuwah alone. You have made the Shamaimoth, the heaven of heavens, Shamaim of Shamaimoth, with all their host, the earth and all the things that are therein, the seas and all that is therein, and you preserve them all, and the host of Shamaim worships you. You are Yahuwah, the Alahayim, who did choose Avraham, and brought him forth out of Ur of the Cassim, and gave him the name of Avraham, and found his heart faithful before you and cut a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanim, the Chittim, the Amorim, and the Perizim, and the Yevushim, and the Gurigashim to give it, I say, to his seed and have performed your words for you are righteous and did see the affliction of our fathers in Mitzrayim and heard their cry by the Red Sea and showed signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and on all his servants and on all the people of his land. For you knew that they dealt proudly against them. So did you get you a name as it is this day. And you did divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And their persecutors you threw into the the deeps as a stone into the mighty waters. Moreover, you led them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire, to give them light in the way wherein they should go. You came down also upon Mount Sinai and spoke with them from the Shamaim, heaven, and gave them right judgments and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and made known unto them your Kodesh, holy Shabbat, and commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moshe, your servant, and gave them bread from Shamayim for their hunger, 
and brought forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst and promised them that they should go in to possess the land which you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers dealt proudly and hardened their necks and hearkened not to your commandments and refused to obey. Neither were mindful of your wonders that you did among them, but hardened their necks and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But you are an Elohim, ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and forsook them not. Yea, when they had made a molten calf, and said, This is your Elohim that brought you up out of Mitzrayim, and had wrought great provocations. Yet you, in your manifold mercies, forsook them not in the wilderness. The pillar of the cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night to show them light and the way wherein they should go. You gave also your good Ruach to instruct them and withheld not your manna from their mouth and gave them water for their thirst. Yea, forty years did you sustain them in the wilderness so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old and their feet swelled not Moreover, you gave them kingdoms and nations and did divide them into corners. So they possessed the land of Chichon and the land of the king of Cheshbon and the land of Og, king of Bashan. Their children also multiplied you as the stars of Shamaim and brought them into the land concerning which you had promised to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land, and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Kenyanim, and gave them into their hands with their kings and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they took strong cities and a fat land and possessed houses full of all goods, wells dug, vineyards and olive vineyards and olive yards and fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat and were filled and became fat and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Nevertheless, They were disobedient and rebelled against you and cast your Torah behind their backs and slew your prophets which testified against them to turn them to you and they wrought great provocations. Therefore you delivered them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them and in the time of their trouble when they cried Unto you, you heard them from Shamaim, and according to your manifold mercies, you gave them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before you, therefore left you them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried unto you, you heard them from Shamaim, and many times did you deliver them according to your mercies, and testified against them, that you might bring them again unto your Torah. Yet they dealt proudly, and hearkened not 
unto your commandments, but sinned again against your judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them, and withdrew the shoulder and hardened their neck and would not hear. Yet many days did you forbear them and testified against them by your Ruach and your prophets. Yet would they not give ear. Therefore gave you them into the hand of the people of the lands. Nevertheless, for your great mercy's sake, you did not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful Allahim. Now, therefore, our Allahim, the great, the mighty, and the terrible Allahim, who guards the covenant and shows mercy, let not all the trouble seem little before you that has come upon us on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all your people since the time of the kings of Ashur unto this day. How be it, you are just in all that is brought upon us, for you have done right, but we have done wickedly. Neither have our kings or our princes our priests, who are our fathers, kept your Torah, nor hearkened unto your commandments and your testimonies, wherewith you did testify against them, for they have not served you in their kingdom and in your great goodness that you gave them in the large and fat land which you gave before them. Neither turned they from their wicked works. Behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that you gave unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it, and it yields much increase unto kings whom you have set over us because of our sins. Also, they have dominion over our bodies and over our cattle at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. And because of all this, we cut a sure covenant and write it, and our princes, Levi'im, and priests seal unto it. Chapter 10 Now those that were sealed were Nechemiah, the Tirshatha, the son of Chakaliah and Siddiquiahu, Seriyahu, Azariyahu, Yirmayahu, Pashur, Amariyahu, Malikiyahu, Chasuth. Chatsush, Shevanyahu, Maluk, Sharim, Miriath, Ovadayahu, Daniel, Ginnan, Thon, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshulam, Avayahu, Minyamin Mahazayahu Bilgai Shemayahu These were the priests and the Levim, both Yeshua, the son of Azaniah, Binui, of the sons of Chenadai. Kadmael and their brethren, Shevanyahu, Hodiah, Keliah, Kelichah, 
Kelly Tia Pelea Chanan Micah Rechav Shashava Yahu Zakur She Ravia Shevan Yahu Hodia Beni Ben Enu The Chief of the People Parosh Pakath Moav Elam Zathu Bani Buni Asgad Bavai Adani Adanayahu Bigvai Adin Ater Yazikiyahu Azur Hodia Chashum Betsai Cherubfi Anatoth Novai Majapayash Meshulam Chajir Meshayazavil Sadak Yaduda Palachyahu Chanan Anaya Husha Chananyahu Shashuv Chashuv Lokesh Pilcha Shobek Rechum Chashavanya Maaseyahu and Akiyahu Chanan Anan Maluk Charim Bana and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levaim, the porters, the singers, the Nathaim, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the Torah of Allahim, their women, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding. They clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in Allahim's Torah, which was given by Moshe, the servant of Allahim, to guard and do all the commandments of Yahuwah Allahim and his judgments and his statutes, and that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Shabbat to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Shabbat or on the Kodesh day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exactation of every debt. Also we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves every to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our Allahim for the showbread and for the continual oblation and for the continual ascending smoke offering of the Shabbat the new of the new moons for the set feasts and for the Kodesh things and for the sin offerings to make an atonement for Yasharal and for all the work of the house of Allahim. And we cast the lots among the priests, the Levaim, and the people for the wood offering to bring it into the house of our Allahim after the house of our fathers at times appointed year by year to burn upon the altar of Yahuwah. Alanayu Alhayim, as it is written in the Torah, and to bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of all fruit trees year by year 
unto the house of Yahuwah, also the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle, as it is written in the Torah, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks, to bring the house of our Elohim unto the priests that minister in the house of our Elohim, and that we should bring the first fruits of our dough and our offerings and the fruit of all manner of trees, of wine and of oil, unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our Elohim, and the tithes of our ground, unto the Levim, that the same Levim might have the tithes in all the cities of our tillage. And the priests, the son of Aharon, shall be with the Levim, when the Levim take tithes, and the Levim shall bring up the tithe of the tithes into the house of our Elohim, to the chambers, into the treasure house, for the children of Yasharal and the children of the Levi, of, of the Levi, shall bring the offering of the grain, of the new wine, and the oil, unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests that minister, and the porters and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our Elohim.